Public enemy number one is now wide receiver number one. As the ultimate Seinfeldian route for laundry scenario became official today when former Ohio State five-star Julian Fleming decided to portal to Penn State. After compiling a decent but not dominant career in Columbus that was the source of so much schadenfreude for a jilted Nittany Nation, Fleming finally righted his signing day wrong and returns to Pennsylvania as a pass-catching prodigal son for a team in desperate need of playmakers. In fact, not since unfounded reports of Rick Neuheisel slurping down French onion soup at the corner room peppered message boards back in the day has the internet been so abuzz about an outsider's presence on College Avenue. According to reliable source WTF69420, Fleming's Thursday, December 7th state college coronation concluded just before the rooster's crow as the six foot two receiver rocked out to Velveeta's cover of Jesse's Girl at Crowbar. The crowbar's closed. Uh, I'm sorry, what's that? The crowbar's been closed for years. What do you mean the crowbar's been closed for years? I'm serious. But, yeah, but it was on the internet. Anyway, Fleming's modest career statistical output, 79 receptions for 963 yards and seven touchdowns, doesn't erase the eye-catching elite physical attributes that made him such a desired prospect out of high school. For a big-bodied receiver blessed with an impossible-to-ignore, filled-out, Sunday-ready frame, Fleming is a smooth runner post-catch, deploying deceptive straight-line speed thanks to his long, effortless stride. In limited opportunities, Fleming proved capable of stressing secondaries vertically at the third level, hauling in more than 50% of targets that traveled 20-plus yards in the air. A ratio that could have been and probably should have been higher, if not for Kyle McCord's tunnel vision. While not a spastic, quick-burst route runner, Fleming's just twitchy enough to create separation in tight quarters and just tough enough to muscle past hyper-aggressive press man coverage, fighting through clutching and or grabbing to snatch a ball or draw a flag. But where Fleming really thrived at Ohio State was finding those soft, inviting nooks and crannies in the secondary on run fakes, displaying a knack for locating open space and offering a big, clean, distinguishable target once the quarterback turned and faced the defense. Given new OC Andy Kotelnicki's fondness of play-action boots, Fleming projects to be a fantastic fit in the Nittany Lions' new offense. A couple of mom's basement NFL draft scouting reports on Fleming knocked him for being a body catcher, which, honestly, in the eight games we scouted, we simply didn't see. In fact, it was quite the opposite. In our sample size, Fleming was strong and sure-handed, displayed a vast catch radius, and the pliability to bend and pluck footballs below the belt. Finally, as a run blocker, Fleming was a freaking bully on some snaps, which given Penn State's struggles in this lost art in 2023, was refreshing to observe. With that said, though, for a guy sporting an action figure physique, Fleming's physicality was glaringly absent in a couple areas of his overall game. Fleming averaged an underwhelming 4.4 yards after catch and was credited with just seven missed tackles forced as a Buckeye by PFF. Additionally, Considering his thick frame, vice grip hands, and jump out of the gym vertical leap, Fleming somehow didn't own 50-50 balls the way you might expect. In fact, Fleming's career contested catch rate resides in the middle of the pack when compared to a sampling of Penn State's productive, yet pint-sized receivers during the James Franklin era. Still, get excited. Fleming is the most talented wide receiver on Penn State's roster at the time of this recording. Point blank, period. And just because Fleming was a Camaro in a room full of Corvettes at Ohio State doesn't mean it's too late for him to reach his top gear as a game-changing offensive weapon in Happy Valley.